So I'm thinking macho guys just aren't my thing. Maybe I need a sensitive guy. I think that's what I need. Hey, you guys can think whatever you want, but who doesn't like sweet, caring, gentle qualities? Someone you can take home to mom and dad. Isn't that the ultimate goal anyway? Come to think of it, I did just meet a guy with those qualities the other day. His name is Alvin, and you'll die when I tell you how. I was walking my dog Addie after work, and then he saw this No, Addy, leave the squirrel alone! <laughs> Are you okay? Are you hurt? I heard a crash. He, he was so young. Oh, yeah, what an awful way to go. No, no, he's not gone yet. I can revive him. Cecil, you made it, buddy. Cecil, you named them? Oh, uh, yeah, I observed the local squirrel population. Oh, are, are you like a researcher or something? No, I'm just an admirer. This particular species is going extinct, so I try to keep an eye on them. And who's this little guy? Oh, this is Addie. I can tell you take good care of him. Yeah, he's like my best friend. You know, I think people underestimate them sometimes. Animals can be just like people, in my opinion. I completely agree, you know? You know, I'd like to further discuss your theories on animal behaviors and mannerisms if you're not doing anything this Friday night. No, I mean, he's cute. He likes my dog, so it's always a good thing. Yeah. And, and despite the fact that I think he touched a dead squirrel and then petted my dog, I'm still actually pretty excited about tonight. Oh, never mind. Yes, he actually asked me out this time. Oh, wait, I think he's here. I have to go. Um, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Hi. Hello. Come on in. I'm almost ready. Oh, thank you. Oh, I brought these for you. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. And a squirrel. How ironic. Huh? To symbolize how we met? Oh, right! And I purposely brought the gray squirrel because they're the most commonly found in the city. Wow, I had no idea there were so many kinds. Oh, yeah, there's over 365 different species of squirrel, squirrel broken down into seven different categories. And that's not even including squirrel-like creatures like groundhog, gopher, and the prairie dog. Wow, you sure know a lot about squirrels. <laughs> Well, they are the largest living group of mammals on the planet and make up approximately 40% of all living mammals. <clears throat> no! Yeah, sorry, he kind of has a thing for them too. I hope the squirrel you saved is doing better than this one. Oh, gee didn't make it. He went into cardiac arrest. He, he put up a good fight though. He had such a big heart for such a little body. Oh, um, the funeral is this Thursday. I, I hope you can make it. Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> Thanks.
I know it would mean a lot to him if you could make it. I saw how you two bonded after the resuscitation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so where are we again? Oh, sorry. It's, uh, it's just up ahead. This is my favorite park. There's a small clearing up ahead where we can sit and talk. Good, but um, I thought we were going to get dinner. Oh, I have nuts. So I'm really glad Addy likes you. I was kind of surprised at first because he doesn't normally take to new people right away. Well, it's like we discussed. Animals can act a lot like people and vice versa. For example, I've noticed a lot of similarities between the two of you. Really? Like what? Well, like that Addy's outgoing and friendly, extremely cute, just like his owner. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what was that? It has begun. What are you talking about? Follow me. Oh, oh, we're here. And where is here exactly? Well, you see, I've been observing Margaret for some time before I even knew she was pregnant. And I was starting to worry because she had overstayed her gest gestation period. But now, finally, the birthing process has begun. Wait, what? Look. <laughs> oh, look at her. Oh, come on. Oh, push. Oh, she's crowning. Oh, here comes the afterbirth. Oh, I'm gonna lose my nuts. Oh, we're so lucky to have experienced the miracle of life. Uh, well, well, they are kind of cute, I guess. And look, they don't even have their little eyes open. I wouldn't do that if I were you. So much blood. How could something so small produce so much? And who would have thought that a mother squirrel would be so protective of her young? One fact that Alvin actually neglected to tell me. Does this look infected?